there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. In the run-up to Crufts, 30 of Britain's most talented canines will be battling it out in a bid to be crowned Superstar Dog 2014. They'll be making waves in swim and fetch, giving it their all in sprint ball, celebrating goals in the penalty shootout, and jumping to victory in the dogstickle course. But there can only be one Superstar Dog. Happy! No! Superstar Dogs, the show where devoted owners and their beloved dogs pair up as a team to compete in three challenging dog sports. Today, three of them will go head to head in an attempt to secure their place in our semifinals, where the winner will edge one step closer to being crowned Superstar Dog 2014, earning a cash prize and a grand unveiling at this year's Crufts. <laughs> Are you ready to meet today's teams? Please welcome from Wiltshire, Oliver Twist and his owner, Ashley! <laughs> Working gun dog, Oliver Twist is a three-year-old German short-haired pointer. From Suffolk, please welcome Oscar and Pauline! <laughs> Oscar is a four-year-old long-jumping record-holding golden retriever. And finally, from Lincolnshire, give it up for Lord Wagley the First and Allison! Lord Wagley the First is a mischievous seven-year-old Labrador. All right, welcome everybody. How are you? Hi, John. Hello, Ashley. Oliver Twist, how did you come up with that name? Because he was the smallest of the litter. We thought Oliver Twist was very apt. Was he always asking for more? He certainly was. He's always tucking into his bowl. <laughs> Pauline and Oscar. Oscar looks like a handful when he came out there. He was raring to go. He's ready. He's one of those dogs that might not listen to everything that you're saying. Yes. <laughs> we could be in for some fun. Allison and Lord Wagley the First with his bag. With his wag bag. <laughs> <laughs> what is in his wag bag? Toys, mess bags, collapsible water bowls. And what would winning mean to you guys? <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. For those of you who don't speak dog, we will be translating throughout the show for you, don't worry. But first, it's event number one. It's in the pool, it's called Swim and Fetch. A ginormous 40-foot swimming pool awaits in an event that's all about teamwork. There's no room for error, as the owner must throw their dog's favorite toy beyond the correct colored flag. It's red for large dogs, blue for medium, and white for small. Then it's down to their daring dog to launch themselves off the deck or race down the ramp to retrieve their toy in the fastest time possible. The clock stops when the toy lands in the container. It's three points for top dog, two for second place, and just one for the team that makes a dog's dinner. Oliver Twist and Ashley are up first. As they limber up, let's find out more about these country gents. Oliver is a working gun dog. We regularly go shooting together. When he's out on the shoots, he's very much focused. He loves his pheasants and his duck. And he works extremely hard. But when he's at home, he's quite a soppy dog. He very much likes coming up for pets and cuddles. He's such a good, loving boy. <laughs> I've had him since he was, a, he was a puppy. He was the first one that came waddling up to me. He just sat at my feet and looked straight up at me. I thought, that's the one for me. <laughs> And then hopefully, you know, he loves me just as much as uh, I care for him. Good boy. OK, Ashley, so Oliver Twist is a gun dog. Do you think that is going to help him in this competition? Well, I'm hoping he's not going to be afraid of the water, otherwise I've got a few problems there. Now, are you going to use the deck or are you going to use the ramp? I think I'm going to go off the ramp. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Oliver Twist. So, Oliver Twist and Ashley, will they leave us wanting more? As always, referee Dave Ray from the Kennel Club is here to oversee things. Oliver's got to go past the ready? red marker for the In big dogs. Three, two, one, go! Off we go. 
That's a long throw, a bit of hesitation, having a think about it, but in he goes. Oh, he is quick through the water. Good pickup, sharp turnaround. He's using the whistle, a familiar tactic that with gun dogs. This is going to be a fast time if the transition is smooth. He's pretty good up the ramp. Little shake, that's going to cost them time. But in it goes. Come here. I think he chose the right entrance because when he, when he went in at first, he went in very tentatively. You see right there, look, look, there was a little <laughs> hesitation. He's like, Whoop, I'm going. <laughs> and that was it. He was off. Do you want to hear how you did? I do, yes. 23.97 seconds. Good boy. Good boy. You did it. Up next, it's Oscar and Pauline. Oscar's a family pet. He's just so lovely at home. He's really no trouble at all. Oscar, come on. I do a lot of obedience training. Every week I get together with friends. Good boy. And I go to external trainers as well. Oscar, yard. Oscar's very rewards driven. <laughs> the tennis ball being the main one. Yeah, they say never film children and animals. <laughs> Leave it. Enough. Enough. Dogs that do competitive obedience don't always look very obedient. Away! But he's really no trouble at all. Oscar. <laughs> Pauline and Oscar. Now, is Oscar a record holder already in something? He's a record holder of long jump into water. How far can he jump? He's jumped 26 foot. That's past the red flag. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so are you going off the deck or are you going to choose to go off the ramp? I'll go off the edge, yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> all right, 23.97 seconds is the time to beat. Let's get behind them, everybody, and good luck. 26 feet, John, that's a whopper. Oscar raring to go. The tension's palpable. Referee Dave just calming things down. It's three, two, one, go! And here we go. That looks short. Big jump, but the whistle's gone. It was. That was a short throw. Oh. It didn't go past the red flag. Hawkeye Dave just doesn't miss a trick. They will get a second chance. If they mess up, though, they will be ready? disqualified. And it's three, two, one. That's close, but just about OK. And what a jump as well. Great pickup. This is going to be extremely fast. They were confident going into this one. Oscar, Got to get the ball off Oscar now. Yeah. Might have a bit of trouble with that. We knew it, didn't we? She's got it, and in it goes. All right. Pauline, Oscar, let's take a look at the replay, because I think the ball just made it. Yes, you did. Second time around. Now, I think I know... Look at that leap! Oh, look at that! 23.97 seconds is the time to beat. Oscar, you can bark all you want because you did it at 19.25. Oscar and Pauline have set a fast time. Can our final team beat it? It's Lord Wagley the first and his long-serving owner, Allison. This is Lord Wagley the first. The name Wagley comes from his tail going constantly. But he's quite an independent spirit. No, I just don't get your foot out of it. But at the end of the day, he's mummy's boy. Can't really sit on mummy like that, can you? He comes to work with me sometimes. Mm -hmm. He comes to see you sometimes. <laughs> this is his wag bag. Today, we've got various toys in the wag bag. Anywhere we go, he takes his wag bag and off he goes. Wag is very, very important. He's been around since he's been a baby. He's part of the family. Lord Wagley, he's a, a, a bit windy. Do you think that's going to give him some extra propulsion well, in I'm the water? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping we'll do a big trump and he'll just go. We are all sort of behind you. Yes, we are. <laughs> all right, good luck, everybody. Thank good you. luck, Lord Wagley. Well, thankfully, John, I'm not behind Lord Wagley. Will his trumpy bum, squeaky cow, and waggly tail help him in the water? He's a big dog, of course. He's got to go past the red flag. And it's three, two, one, go! 
off we go. Oh, that looks a little bit short to me. Thought so. Dave calling it a short throw. They're in the reset, aiming for that red marker. Are you ready? One I more three, chance. Two, one, go! go. go. Alison, she's cut this one fine. It seems good. Wagley not too keen on this at all. It's looking more and more like a refusal, I'm afraid. They will get disqualified. They're in dangerous territory if the dog won't get in the water. That's a refusal. As we, I thought. Listen, we were all behind Lord Wagley, weren't we? He just would not go in. He was scared. Don't worry, because there's two other events to go. Although you haven't scored any points here, do not give up, OK? I won't. All right, everybody, a big round of applause for Lord Wagley and Alison! <laughs> After event number one, let's take a look at the leaderboard. After refusing to get into the water, Lord Wagley and Alison are bottom. Oliver Twist and Ashley didn't find Swim and Fetch too gruelling. They're second, leaping out into the lead with three points, record-breaking Oscar and Pauline. Today, a place in the semi-finals is up for grabs, and after one event, Oscar and Pauline have rocketed into first place. With two events to go, that could all change. Next up, Sprint Ball. <laughs> All three teams go head-to-head -head as the dogs race to clear four hurdles, retrieve a toy, and then sprint back to their owner three times in a row. Which dog will do it the fastest, and which one will balls it up? As always, there's three points for best in show, two for second place, and just one point for the dog that finishes last. Allison, Lord Wagley, you had a bit of trouble earlier. Do you think that Lord Wagley I can pull it together right here. I can't do much worse. So <laughs> <laughs> we've had a talk, we've regrouped, we're ready. All right, Pauline. You know, he is ready to rock yeah. and you don't want to let him down this time, do you? Well, that's it. Me fumbling the balls or something like that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Ashley, do you think it's going to be just as good on land as you were at sea? But I'm bumped. Well, I've got my fingers crossed, John. I mean, he's fit, he's agile, he's got big long legs. Hopefully, he'll do a good job again for me. Good luck to all of you. Let's play sprint ball. We have a head to head race here. All three dogs going at the same time. Alison and Wagley saying they've regrouped. Let's see what happens. Oscar raring to go, focused on the balls. Let's hope Pauline doesn't fumble them. Little pep talk. Come on, son. You can do it. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go! Quick start from all three dogs. Oliver picks one up. Wagley picks one up. And they're back. What's Oscar doing? No one knows. Not getting any trophies for that. Oliver Twist has got one back. Alison struggling. She's got it in. Oscar, that's surely interference in Wagley's lane. Oliver really motoring. That's the second ball. Second for Wagley as well. This is going to be very, very close. Pauline trying to get him under control. Third run for Oliver Twist. Alison getting the ball off Wagley. Their third run as well. We're on course for a very tight finish. A little fumble from Oliver Twist. Come on, Wagley, you can do it. There's Oscar, look. That's first for Ashley and Oliver Twist. Second for Alison and Lord Wagley. Where on earth is Oscar? Oh, a paltry one. Well done, everybody. Colleen, we had a little bit of a problem, didn't we? He was just being a golden retriever. He mate. was being a golden retriever, everybody. Yes, he was. And we still love him for it. Don't you worry. That puts Ashley and Oliver Twist. You guys, you got all three first. Really pleased with that. Yeah, he did fantastically well. What about Lord Wagley, everybody? <laughs> Lord Wagley is making a comeback. What a comeback that what was. What a comeback that was. He just fired right down the lane and fired right back. Boom, straight back to his mum. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 
John, despite that comeback in sprint ball, Lord Wagley and Allison are bottom, meaning they've got a 20-second penalty going into the dogstacle course. Making a right dog's dinner of the last event, Oscar and Pauline are second with four points and a 10-second penalty. Powering into the lead with a massive five points and no time penalties, Oliver Twist and Ashley. It's still wide open. Anyone can win it. Even Lord Wagley is still in with a shout after a disastrous start. It's time for the dogstickle course. A marathon labyrinth of jumps, tunnels, bridges, and the mouth-watering Temptation Alley. This is the dogstickle course. A hard one to complete with time penalties imposed for any errors. Only the fastest team will earn their place in the semifinals, so this event really is the ultimate test of whose bite is bigger than their bark. At the bottom of the leaderboard and going first with a 20-second penalty, it's the legend that is Lord Wagley the first and owner Allison. Crowd favorite Lord Wagley soaking up the applause. Will he succumb to the sausages in Temptation Alley? Allison focusing on the course, might be just thinking about a spot of dinner. Right, you're in your own time, you can start. <gasps> Allison nervous and rightly so. Wagley not interested in that first jump. He's over now. Also not that interested in the A-frame. Allison seems a bit resigned. He's not too keen. That'll be a 15-second penalty. How about the jumps? Over that one. That is clean too. There's a lot of urgency about this. She's sort of politely asking Wagley. Well, I suppose he is a lord after all. Bit of play with referee Dave as well. No, I'm going to go over here. A mind of his own. And his own geography as well. Next, it's Temptation Alley. Before we've even started, he's had a sniff of the rope toy. I've been looking for that shoe. Five second penalty for anything they touch. Oh, through he goes. That's good from Lord Wagley. The crowd like it too. Now the weaves, neat and tidy. Allison luring him through with those treats. Wagley setting his own pace. There's not too much urgency here. Speed just not his thing. Likes to take life a bit more leisurely, a bit distracted again. And this one, come on. Tail still wagging. Heading for the tunnel. Through he goes, nicely. Oh no, he's come back out. Where are you going, Mum? Let's have another look at that, shall we? Gone in. U turn. Straight back out again. Where are you? Come on, this one. Let's pick them up at the finish. Come on, this one. Come on now, Wagley, you can do it. Give us a grand finale. Come on, then, Wagley. No, thank you very much. He's missed out. Allison just trying to get him set. Come on, yes. through you go. Good lad. Lord Wagley, Allison. Do you think it's enough to get into the semi-finals? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you started out with a 20-second penalty to begin with, OK? Then you incurred a further 80 seconds. It means your total time was 4 minutes and 19 seconds, OK? That is the time that the others have to beat. Next up, with 10 seconds on the clock, it's Oscar and Pauline. Well, Oscar's been a bit of a live wire today. He showed his mettle in the first event. What a leap that was. Is he going to calm Six. down enough to give us a good time here? When you're ready, you can go. Wait. Over? Over the first. The A-frame, no problem. He is quick. Okay. Just a Oscar, bit distracted. Okay. Pauline bellowing Oscar. his name. Oscar. He's gone off for a wander. Oscar. Where's Oscar gone now? He spent so much time inspecting the set today. <laughs> quick hello to Oscar. the audience. How are you doing? Oscar, come! Back on course, through the tyre, OK? Over. Now it is Temptation Six. Alley. Six. Get the feeling Oscar doesn't need much excuse for Temptation. Is he going to fall foul here? Oscar, come! We've gone through. That's quite a Good surprise. Heading for the weaves. Crowd like it. The weaves causing just a bit of trouble. Once again, Pauline using those treats to lure him. Squeeze through. Jump. Over that jump. Oscar! We're into a quick middle section. One, two, three. It's a great time there. Into the tunnel. And out again. Over that jump. Oscar. Oh, having a bit of trouble getting Oscar under control. How will he do over the bridge? Very nicely, thank you. This way! Tunnel! 
giving him a big shout there through the tunnel. This is going to be quick despite those upsets. Big finish from Oscar. Well done. This time could be very acceptable. Well done, Oscar. Well done, puppy. You good boy. Holly, you're laughing. Yeah. You're laughing. Yeah. It was a bit of a challenge. It was challenging. It was exhausting. You began this event with a 10 second penalty yeah. and you incurred a further 75 seconds. So, in total, your time as we stand is 3 minutes and 42 seconds, which puts you in the lead. Now, having said that, the only team that is standing between you and the semi final is Oliver Twist and Ashley. Thank you, John. So, civil servant Ashley and Oliver Twist going into the Dogstacle course. No penalties. Right, in your own time. Over. Here we go, then. Cleanly over the first jump. Up the A-frame. Oh, no, he's come off. That will be a penalty. Not too sure about it at all. He's gone the wrong way there. That will not count, I'm afraid. A couple of good jumps. Heading for the tyre. That's good, too. Not that tidy, but it is quite quick. As we head for Temptation Alley, will Oliver Twist slip up Wait here? And call your dog. Here. Through he goes. Beautiful. Now the weaves. Quite neat. Everyone seems to be using those treats today. What about the jumps? No problem. Oliver Twist, long legs, powerful gun dog, remember. Beautifully over the jump. That is absolute class, clearing them with ease and with speed as well. Let's pick them up further down the course, into the second tunnel. Not too sure what Ashley's asking him to do. They need a bit of a quick finish. Ashley slightly lost, perhaps. Over the jump, through the start, but will it be enough? Come on. Good luck. Well done, guys. Uh, Ashley. Oscar and Colleen set a time of 3 minutes and 42 seconds, which you needed to beat. You incurred a total of 45 seconds in penalties, which gives you a final time of 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Congratulations. We'll see you in the semifinals with Oliver Twist. At the end of 10 heats, the two fastest losers will also qualify for the semifinals. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Sadly, neither Pauline and Oscar nor Allison and Wagley were quick enough to make it onto the fastest loser leaderboard. As it stands, Poppy and Lauren and Freddie and Carl will join us in the semifinals, but with three more heats to go, that could all change. That's it for today. Oliver Twist and Ashley are off to prepare for the semifinals. For more about today's events, head to our website. Join us next time as another three family dogs show us what they've got as they go all out to be crowned Superstar Dog. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah.